Welcome to the last <coughs> set of notes for chapter 9. This is lesson 9-6. We're going to talk about the area of composite figures. That F just won't work out. Oh well, it's what it is. Today's date is 4 11 19. So first and foremost, we need to come up with a definition for what is a composite figure. So things that are a composition are things that are coming from different places and putting together to make one thing. So composite figure is going to be just that. So it's a figure or a shape. Uh, made up of two or more two-dimensional shapes. So we're talking flat things. With recognizable area formulas. In other words, rectangles, squares, triangles, trapezoids, parallelograms, other shapes, maybe even like a circle. Okay. To calculate its area, Break the composite figure into its two or more figures find the area of each then add those areas together. Okay. So I'm going to go back and highlight. So again, it's made up of two or more different shapes that we recognize and that we know formulas for. And then to calculate its area, We're going to break or separate the composite figure into its two or more figures. Two, we're going to find the area of each. Three, then add all those areas together. So we're going to be doing a couple of examples. Uh, and we're probably, it should take two pages for this one. So let's start, launch right in and just get to it. So we have the dimensions of a city pool are shown. And what would be the area of the pool's surface. Okay, so let me draw a picture of our pool here. Now, of course, my scale is not very good at all, but you have to trust the numbers that I write. Okay, now these are stairs, but as you know with the pool, you have the stairs that lead into the water, so they are actually under water. So I'm going to use this blue to highlight all of the values. So the 
entrance of those stairs is four feet. As it enters the pool, that's six feet. The distance, the steps to the edge of the regular pool is two feet. The length is 28 feet and the width of the pool is 14 feet, okay? So looking at the shape, I see two distinct figures. So I am gonna use a little red to kind of separate them out. So what I see on the left is a trapezoid. What I see on the right is a rectangle. So what I'm gonna do is figure out the formula for each of these and then, uh, or the pieces that I know, and then substitute them into the formula, and then I'm going to calculate it. Okay, so let's start with the trapezoid. So what I see is the two bases. So base one is at the top of the stairs is the four feet. Base sub two is going to be at the foot of the stairs inside, right to the pole's edge. That's six feet wide. And then I see the height is going to be two feet. So if I want to figure out the area, one half the sum of the bases, oh, I'm gonna to have to move that rectangle. That's okay, I can do that. Times the height, get this and we'll move them over. Go back to our trapezoid. So we substitute numbers in. We have one half the sum of the bases, so four plus six times the height, two. Simplifying. Now I can tell you one of the problems I have seen um, <clears throat> as I've looked over the chapter nine quizzes is how few of you actually started with the area formula. You gotta start with that, folks, and then substitute numbers in. So I'm gonna take half of two is one, and then I get 10 times one is 10. So what I get for this guy is 10 square feet. All right, let's go to that rectangle. And what I see there is we have a length of 28 feet and a width of 14 feet. And the formula for area of a rectangle is length times width. I could also call the length the base and the width the height. That would work too. And that gives me area equals 28 times 14. Now I'm going to do this off to the side up here. And see what I come up with. So I get 32. 8 and 3 is 11. Put in a placeholder. And I get 8 and 2. So I get a 2, a 9, a 3. So I get area equals 392 square feet. So if I want to figure out the area of the pool's surface, I'm just going to take those two areas, surface, and add them together. <coughs> So area is going to equal 10 plus 392, or 402 square feet. Okay, and that's the composite figure here. Okay, uh, I think I've got, yeah, we've got enough room. We're going to do one more underneath there. So this next one is going to ask us again to find the area. So again, <laughs> these don't match uh, what we have. Eh, well, I could try. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, just too short. I know what I can do. I'm going to move this title up. Oops. So 
this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> Find the area. So I'm going to kind of section off this problem here. So we have that, and then this is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's going to go up four. One, two, three, four. It's going to go over eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to have that shape there. Like a big old boot on its back. All right, so we're going to add some labels here. Uh, I'm going to tell you to the left, that is 10 feet. I'm going to tell you on top, from this edge to this edge is 8 feet. That doesn't look like feet, it looks like f f f f f Let's try that again, huh? Uh, this is going to be 4 feet. Uh, and this is going to be 12 feet from corner to corner. Okay. So let's see, what could we do here? Well, a couple of ideas that I could see. And, and honestly, you can do this either way that you want. Okay? So I'm going to do show you one way. One way is if I dropped a line here. I could figure out the trapezoid, okay? So for example, this part would be four. Let's see, this whole thing is 12. This portion at the top is eight. So 12 take away eight would also give me a four. So those would be the numbers that I need to figure out my um, trapezoid. And then I would have an eight by four rectangle. But you know what? I don't wanna do that we just did a trapezoid so let's go a different way let's go here and see if we can figure out what we have um, so let's see this length from here to here is 12 from here to here is 8 so that would make this 4 feet here's my right angle <coughs> this whole left side is 10 feet this portion here is four feet. So boom, 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 boom. There's your four feet. So this piece right here would have to be six feet. Okay. All right. And then my rectangle is going to be a 12 by four. So I'm going to put my numbers in, put them in a triangle, and for my rectangle. So that first thing we did was find the missing dimensions. Now, we are going to go over this in class because I know it's a little hard to see sometimes how I'm coming up with the numbers on the screen. So I will go over that again in class. So miss, find the missing dimensions. Now, sometimes when I try to find, a, I see a figure, but... I can't always figure out the side measurements, so I can't always make it maybe a way I see it, but this one worked out. All right, so next we're going to find, uh, find the area one, which is the trapezoid, I mean, sorry, triangle. And we use the formula a equals one half base times height. And we said that the base was four and the height was six. Oh, I remember I wrote H, silly me. So half of six is three and we get four times three is 12. So this one would be 12 square feet. Over to the right, I'm going to do the next step, 3, and we're going to find the area 2, which is the rectangle.
and so area is going to be length times width or base times height and the base or the bottom the length is 12 the height is 4 and we get the area is 48 square feet last step is we're going to combine areas So we're going to have 12 plus 48, and we get the answer of 60 square feet. Okay? All right, on the next screen, we're going to just do a couple more and talk about a couple of weird situations. So directions again. Find the area. So let's have the shape here. Let's go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to go up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to go on the top over five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to connected those edges. So let me go back and put those numbers in. So the top was 5 meters. By the way, right angle, right angle, right angle. Okay. And we've got 10 meters on the left. The bottom is 7 meters. This right side is 7 meters. So what I'm going to share with you on this one is what shape does this look like to you? I'm seeing three right angles and then this little section. It almost looks like a rectangle that somebody's ripped a piece off of. So one of the things that we can do when we want to figure out the area of the composite figure, yes, I could do something like this. I could draw in this line and I could try to figure out the, and I've got enough information to figure out the area of the tra trapezoid and the area looks like it's supposed to be a square. So here's the thing is, we've already done that. So let me show you another technique. Sometimes we can do what's called um, using the absence. So what I mean by that is what if we filled out making a corner so that overall what I see is a, tri or a rectangle with a teeny little triangle. Okay, so let's figure out what would go where. So this little piece at the top, remember all the way across at the bottom from the edge to the edge was 7 meters. And if this is a rectangle, then that would also be 7 from this edge to this edge. So if I did 7 take away 5, that would give me 2 meters. And that's what that top piece would match up. Now, Notice from top to bottom on the left, it's 10. And from this black line to the bottom black line on the right is 7. So if I did 10 take away 7, I would get 3 meters. And that would be the measurement here. Now that doesn't really exist. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start by figuring out the area of the rectangle. So I'm going to choose a different color. Oops. So one, let's do the area of the triangle. So we have A equals one half base times height. The base is two, the height is three. I'm gonna take half of two as one, and one times three is three. So I get three square meters. Two, let's go ahead and figure out the area of that rectangle. Well, we know the formula is area equals length times width. Substitute our numbers in. I can go with the long number times the short number. I can take 7 times the 10. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to go 7 times 10 just because. And I get the area equals 70 square meters. Now remember, 
That rectangle only is that rectangle because I added in that corner triangle. So to get the actual shape, so the final area of the black figure, I'm going to have to take the area of that rectangle, that's 70 square meters, and take away that triangle that we added on. And that's going to give us 67 square meters as the original shape. Okay? I got one more. These are all kind of weird exceptions. Find the area. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we got this big, huge honker square, twelve by twelve. So you add those dimensions in. So this is 12 centimeters and 12 centimeters. Okay. Now, we are going to build something that is, let's see, goes down, oops, go back. work myself out of room here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm, okay. So here's where you're going to have to just trust me on this one because my picture is not going to work out the way I'd hope to. Okay, so we're not going to be counting anything here. Okay. So, I was trying to get too fancy, and it just cost me too much. All right, so let's just move on. So, this piece is six centimeters this way. Next to it is eight centimeters across from here to here. This is 12 centimeters on the far right side, and this is 15 centimeters. Now, what's weird is that I have these two shapes that overlap, and I want to find the area. So what I'm really finding the area, I'm going to go ahead and highlight it, is the outside, the shape that's formed by the outside pieces. Okay. So the problem is I've got two of these squares or rectangles, and then I have this shape, this rectangle that's stuck on the inside that isn't actually getting counted because it's really the overall shape that I'm looking at, that pink shape. So what we're going to do is number off our three areas, and we've got area one. That's a major area. We've got area two. That's a major area. And then we have area three, which is our kind of minor area. And what we're going to have to do is figure out the area of the first one. To that, we're going to add the area of the second one. But since they both include that corner, we're going to have to take away the area of the third shape, the third figure. Okay, so I can figure out area one. That's pretty easy, right? It's just a rectangle. 
or actually it's a square. So we're just going to have the side and we're going to multiply it by itself. So that's 12 times 12 or 144 squared centimeters. Okay, Area 2 is pretty easy, right? It's just a square or a rectangle, sorry. And that's going to be length times width, which is going to be 15 times 12. Now I'm going to do that off this side of my paper. We get 10, we get a 3 placeholder, we get a 5 and a 1, and we get 180. So that's 180 squared centimeters. Now, before I can figure out the area of that rectangle that's kind of overlapped, that's still colored in black, um, I actually have to figure out what its dimensions are. So let's see what we're going to do. So on the top, from the left corner to the right corner of that shape is 15. But outside, so this pink piece here to here is 8. So if I take that away, it's going to tell me that this top section, this one right here, is going to be 7 centimeters. Okay, we're going to use that same idea on the other side, but I'm going to use a different color so it stands out a little bit more. So on the left side of that shape, that's 12. And then we actually I don't even need to look at that, do I? I can just look on the inside. So let's look here. See this piece right here? That piece is 12 from on the other side. And then this piece is 6. So if I do 12 take away 6, that's going to equal 6 centimeters. So 6 and 6 is 12. So the area of the third piece is still a rectangle. And we're going to have 7 times 6, which is 42 squared centimeters. Okay, so for the final area, so that black outline, well, was black, now it's pink, so you can see it. So let's go ahead and do this in pink. So the final area is I'm going to take 144. I'm going to add to it 180. And I'm going to subtract from it, from that, 42. Okay? So... According to order of operations, we're going to add first, and we're going to get a 4, a 12, a 324, and then we're going to go ahead and subtract 42 from it. Now I'm going to do that off to the side, because I'm going to have to do some renaming. Oops, 42. So that gives me a 2, rename to 2, 12 is an 8, and we get a 282. So we get 282 squared centimeters is the final answer. Okay, all right, we'll see you later.